Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to tell you about Google Science Journal, an Android app that works on phones, iPads, but also, as you can see here, Chromebooks. So two years ago, i made a video playing with this. I was a little ambivalent about it, but I have started to like it a lot more recently, and I'll tell you why. So first of all, this is the home screen. I can obviously add an experiment here. We'll do that in a minute. But for teachers in the Veggie Burger menu, if I click Activities, this is really nice. There's all these experiments. How cool is that? You can load some more. So they have a lot of experiments and you can sort and do all sorts of things there. And there's also a little for teachers page. This is a lot nicer than what they used to have um, where you can add uh, extra sensors to your device, whatever. How cool is that? So that's really good. I'll link that in the description, uh, but you can just do it in Science Journal as well. So here I am. I'll just make a new uh, experiment and we'll call this or actually to we'll use our edit pencil and we'll call this new experiment and of course i misspelled that but okay great i can either choose a photo or take one now obviously if i have a world facing camera that's maybe more ideal but i still have a webcam here so if let's say i'm holding something so let's say i'm holding this like satchel here and that's somehow to do with the experiment so okay take that picture terrible picture but we'll just say yes that's good and now I have that as like the photo on my experiment. So observations here, I can add text. Obviously your kids would add text to experiments that ha or that happens, right? Lab reports, there are sensors. And so this can record sound and uh, it measures it, it records it. Um, there's also pitch, there's an accelerometer. Those are maybe more for like iPads or phones, um, but that's still cool. If your students have, if you want to do experiments with light, unfortunately, this Chromebook, maybe ones with world facing cameras have the light sensor. This one doesn't have that. That would be awesome. You could always have the kids start it on a phone or an iPad and then continue editing here on the Chromebook. Uh, from pictures, you can add pictures either from your device or from whatever cameras you have there. So that's great. Uh, there's the, uh, there, there we go. That's like my, you know, uh, my hard drives pictures. Um, and the other thing, that is worth pointing out with science journals. One more thing I really like about science journal now is that notice we call this new experiment, right? Well, if I go to my Google drive and I go to recent and there is new experiment. It's right there. These are science journal files. I can't open them here in a web browser, but it does connect and saves it in Google Drive. So that is really cool Google Drive integration. So altogether, I think if you have students with Chromebooks one-to-one, -one, get them using science journal, great way to document what they do in your labs, do it digitally. They can always save it and find it later. Really, really useful. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.